Wait, wait, guys, hold on. I gotta fix the lighting. Give me one second. Yeah, buddy! Woo! Hello guys! Yes, guys, this is this is the WMO. Guys, how the hell are you doing? Guys, oh man, it is a WMO night, the ultimate personality show. All right, how are you doing, nice legs? Hello, Smacked. Hello, Scully Ray. Pog Almighty! Scully Ray! It's Pichu Boo. Name change looks badass. Oh, wow. Pog, I blood double. What is going on, my man? Yeah, buddy. Pog almighty. P Weasel, how you doing? Malicious meow. Smacked just because we boys. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I will not throw the stash. I am so clean. You see that? I, I, look at this shit. This is so Pog. Look at this. It is so daisy fresh. Fernese, how you doing, good buddy? Chaotical boy in the chat room. Oh, boy. Silax, I'm looking forward to it. First time I've caught the show. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm glad you caught it. And Pog Almighty. <laughs> All right. Woo! A lot of wet, a lot of wet shrimp emotes flying around right now. Thank you, Edu. <laughs> no, I'm not taking off the hat. This, this is a harken back to what I used to wear when I was doing podcasts. Because I would always say nope. That was my thing. That was my go-to. I'd always say nope. It was bad. But anyway, again, hello, Zakin. I am not I am not taking off this hat for anybody. <laughs> All right. So, guys, this is the women's season. This is the ultimate personality show. It is all about how the women win over a conversation with the judges. We will have one elimination in round two. And in the final round, we will have a secret final boss come in who will drop the final boss question. By the end of this, we will have one winner. And she will move on to the championship knockout stage in one month's time. So guys, woo, get ready for a game unlike any other. Oh yeah, buddy, we're, we are two years old almost. <laughs> two years old. We've had so many people on this on this show. We've had Invader V, we've had Casey Tron, we've had Cutie Cinderella, Canute, West by the way, we've had D Kane. We've had them all, baby. We've had them all. We have so much history with this, and I'm glad that you guys are a part of it. The women's season means so much to us because the very first women's season that took place was absolutely pog almighty. It was so badass! But anyway, hold on. Smacked, I want to say this first. I hope you're feeling you're, hope you're feeling better. I know you recently contracted. Uh, uh, I don't want to put your stuff on blast, but again, I hope you feel better, buddy. I care about you. And again, I appreciate everyone for the hosts, uh, the subs. A uh, hype train. Wow, I'm happy we got to level two. Pongo, why? This is so badass. Thank you so much for an easy with those crazy ass emotes. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. All right. So again... Just watch the show. Watch these ladies try to entertain you and try to entertain the judges and try to connect with the judges to force them in a conversation. So who will be the most charismatic? Who will engage the judges? Who will win today to truly become the ultimate personality 
of the Ultimate Personality Show. My, Smacked is a big ch bug chaser. <laughs> Why are you guys talking about that for? Bug chasing? All right, nice legs. I want to see some tough questions. The guy judge questions are always so soft compared to the women. <laughs> okay, I agree. But today you got Japani Jones and you have wet shrimp. Oh my god, Paul Almighty, another freaking hype train. This is so badass. Oh man. All right. Woo, let's go. I am all about it. Holy shit. But anyway, guys, oh boy. We got wet shrimp and we got Japani Jones. So I think you're going to have some badass questions. I think you're going to have some badass content today. So guys, Get ready for a game unlike any other. Get ready for a clean-shaven saga. Yeah. Get ready for the ultimate personality show to determine who will challenge Cat Like Meow for the ultimate personality prize, which is the WMO Undisputed Women's Championship Belt. At our version of WrestleMania called Saga Gather 2. And that happens on October. October 10th. So let's not waste any more time. Are we also going to determine exactly how Italian Saga Gather is? Just because I use my hands doesn't mean I'm Italian. But I do work with pizza. In any event, in any event, guys, get ready for a game like any other. Get ready for the WMO. Where's it at? There it is. There's my intro. <laughs> Paul Almighty. Bam. We think that this is WMO. BX Bullet versus Miss Angelique versus Peach Spitz. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. That's disgusting, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's the smack. That's so disgusting. You're ridiculous. All right, I'm about to unmute here. <laughs> about to unmute. Get ready, get ready. Paul Gobiti, I'm about to unmute. And woo! <laughs> I am live! Oh my god! Pong Almighty! Alright, well, again, I'm not going to waste any more time because literally I'm only good for about an hour. But anyway, here we go. Hold on really quick. Before we start this, sm or not smacked. I almost called you smacked. Wow. Hit the button, Manic. Uh, is he there? Manic, hi. Manic? <coughs> Manic! Come back! Oh, oh, my producer! Oh, no! Come oh, back! No. You have the buttons! No! Oh shit! No, it's gonna be bad! Oh, it's all downhill from here! Pong Almighty! Oh man, alright, oh god. Oh, oh god, oh boy. We gotta recover from this, I think we can. But anyway, what I was gonna say though is. There, yeah, there's the button. But anyway, uh, wet shrimp, hold on. Are you actually shaving for this? I'm shaving for you, Saga. Yeah, you Dude. said there's gonna be three sexy ladies here. Dude, are you kidding me? They are. Okay, what, what is that from, man? Like, I have no way. What is that from? Uh, 
let, let's let's not right now. Oh, oh no, never we'll mind, never mind. No, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, no, he's kidding. I uh, hit the button, man. Just kidding, just kidding. But anyway, uh, wet shrimp. Yes, uh, there is a three very lovely ladies here, and. Uh, I, I like how you're shaving, but clearly you haven't changed your tank top in like a month. What is the matter with you? <laughs> First of all, asshole, it's been three months. And then second, I just can't afford a, a tank top. So hopefully after this show, I'm going to win some money and I can buy a new tank top. But it's, you're not competing. You're a judge. There's no money to win. You knew said I was competing. Oh, my God. Okay, Paul Gobiety, we're moving forward, but hold on. Oh, boy. Let me announce you guys properly so I don't scuff this up so bad. Good Lord. All right. Uh. And coming up first, this man has a bunch of history with the WMO. And, again, congratulations on partnership. And, again, I hope everything is going well in Japan. This man is truly a badass when it comes to the WMO. Again, welcome back, Japani Jones, to WMO. Japani Jones, how the hell are you doing? Hello, konnichiwa. Things are going great. Uh, Wet Shrimp and I have a combined amount of hours sleeping last night at four. Um, both have tank tops. The the G, the G boys are representing, and uh, you know it's, it's good to be back. Last time was pretty damn fun and weird. I'm looking for more of that interesting, uh, idiosyncratic answers. And uh, I'm questioning a lot about my life right now. But yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. That's okay. That's how we prefer it. We prefer everyone to question their life when they appear on my yeah. stream. That's, a, that's, the whole, that's the whole point. That's a, you got a lot of come pies in the chat room, dude. I mean, yeah, you got... Kumpai. Can we get yes. some wet shrimp at wet shrimp as well in the chat? Please, no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, just trying to figure out what okay, idiosyncratic means. Oh, God. I'm you actually do excited. A lot of to wake up. I'm excited to have you guys both the judges because, like, I feel like... Uh, you know, when I, when I jump on Japan and stream now, there's people that spam wet shrimp. And I know wet shrimp now, so I get it. Like, you guys know each other, but it's just it's just weird. I feel like I feel like the same viewers that watch Japan will go look for wet shrimp and vice versa. I feel like it goes back and forth. Is that the truth? Like, the same viewers kind of go back and forth. We don't have many shared viewers, but we are both Asian, Saga, if that's what you're implying. Yeah, well, yeah. no, I was not. I would, no, that is the wrong sounder. No, I, no. Oh, huh? my God. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, like, whenever I jump into Pandy's chat room, everyone's spamming wet shrimp. When I go to the wet shrimp, there's people typing cum pie. Good Lord, Paul Almighty. But anyway, oh. coming up next... <laughs> I gotta do this professionally. Good lord. Coming up next, this man, it's the first time he's judging for me on the WMO. He's been on my podcast, and it's a pleasure to have him on, even though the man hasn't changed his tank top in like four months. Welcome, Wet Shrimp, to WMO. <laughs> Wet Shrimp, how you doing? I'm pretty good, Saga. Um, yeah, I just woke up, took a huge shit where it's all like pebbly, and I just floss my five front teeth as well. So I, I think I'm well prepared. Also, you saw me shave live, just for you. So I, I'm really happy to be here. Um, I, I literally thought I was supposed to be competing, but apparently I'm judging. So I guess that's even easier, right? I don't have to. I don't lose when I'm judging. Uh, no, you do not lose when you're judging at all. I, I feel like uh, I feel like nobody loses in this. I feel like everyone is a winner in their own way, and that is my political answers. <laughs> I don't get yelled at by the end of this. But anyway, wet trip. It is a pleasure to have you on, and I can't wait to see what you guys do today. It's gonna be really fun. All right. Thanks, so, man. I appreciate it. No problem, good buddy. And in the background, we have, of course, oh, yeah, I got to mention these judges. These guys are my favorite. The Boomer Judges. You guys will get your uh, your shout-outs at the end. So if Japani Jones and Wet Shrimp cannot come to a conclusion on who they want to keep, then it'll go to the off-screen Boomer Judges. Just like in MMA, you never want to leave it to the judges. You especially don't want to leave it to my Boomer Judges because... Who knows? They might be grabbing a beer right now watching. They might fall asleep. <laughs> they might go wake them up. They're like, oh, uh, get rid of the one on the left. You didn't watch the stream? <laughs> what the fuck? You know, well, they will never leave it in the hands of the boomer judges. It never works out. Just win the day. Win the day. <laughs> All right. And your clock in the background. Inu official, again, thank you so much. And again, Manic, my man in the background. You're going to get your shout-out. That man is hitting all the right buttons. Oh, yeah, baby. This man is so good in the background. He's a badass and creates amazing emotes. Please go check him out. And please go check out Inu as well for those same emotes. All right. Not going to waste any more time. Let's have some fun. And let's see where this takes us tonight. Coming up first, you know what? Again, 
found out about her through mutual friends. She is a badass, and I cannot wait to see what she does tonight. Welcome BX Bullet TV to WMO. Hey, everybody. Hi, judges. Hi, how are you? I am fantastic. I got a lot right, more well, sleep, you get my I vote. Think, I don't want to get shot. Combined. Hey, hey, I'm actually a really nice person, so... Dude, right, yeah, let's like switch her into you, but... I always someone yeah. wanted someone to give me a flesh wound. Almost happened at a party once. A flesh wound? I tried wound? holding a gun, and I got yeah, in trouble. Like, just shoot my calf, like, graze it or something, just for, you know, shits and gigs. Just so you could tell the story later. Yeah, just, I want to know what it feels like, too, you know? It's an interesting take. I mean, I guess we could work something out. I don't know how much I would charge for something like that. Okay, okay. Probably yeah, quite well, a bit, I mean, plus a lot of waivers, you, a lot of legal waivers. Is it, is it dangerous for someone with Parkinson's to, to shoot? Uh, no, friends? in fact, there's a guy named Shaky Dave who does it as part of his therapy. It's uh, the gripping allows and the concentration allows him to temporarily stop shaking. Ooh. Interesting. It's yeah. like these are Pam or whatever Shaky they Dave. take. Uh, Sorry, my bad. So when, when, I, oh, yeah. when I hold something up, I shake. So oh, yeah? everyone runs away when, when I have a gun. You might be surprised if you're gripping it hard enough. You might be able to control it a little bit, bit better. Okay, I'll try that out. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Woo! All right, well, with that being said, BX Bullet, again, it is a pleasure to have you on tonight. And you actually judge for me with at this WMO. You've judged before, so you absolutely have seen what we do here. Even though the format has changed, again, I had pleasure. no idea what I was doing as a judge, and I have no idea what I'm doing now. That is how we like it. That's that's right. exactly how we try to form this thing out. Thank you so much, everyone cheering that on for no apparent reason. <laughs> but anyway, uh, BX Bullet, are you ready for tonight? Oh, yeah. Let's bring it on. Woo! Let's go. Okay, and coming up next, again, similar thing. We, we've we seen her in all kinds of podcasts, her mutual friends. We want to see how well she does tonight. We think she also has a lot of personality. Welcome, Peach Spit, to WMO. Hey. I'm, yeah, I'm also so happy to be on the other side of this, hopefully win some money, because um, I don't think Wet Shrimp has gotten my last few donations I sent him. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I need more money to keep sending him. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I, 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 wow, okay. Uh, well, I don't know how to continue off of that, but Peach Spit, um, again, how was your vacation? You've been gone for like a week or so, right? Yeah, I actually um, went to Minnesota and Montana, where like my mom and dad live, um, which was really great to see them. And then I drove back to the East Coast. And I got tested for COVID after being on a plane, and I'm all good. Whose shirt is that? Mine. Okay. Well, can you send me that shirt then? If you're not going to yeah. send me money? Do you want right, it right enough. now? You have my vote. Yeah, yeah, right now. Just okay. put it in a box, send it over. All right, well, um, I don't want to break too well, so I think I'm going to have to leave now. No, nah, well, no, I mean, we're not even starting this whole, wow, it's just way too soon. But, uh, but Peach Pit, again, pleasure having you on. Are you ready for tonight? I hope so. Woo, that's what we like to hear. Uncertainly, let's go, okay? <laughs> Coming up next. Okay, one more can be said. She is a badass. She's, she competed in the very first ever women's WMO season and got all the way to the championship month. She truly has a lot of personality and history with the WMO. Let's see how well she does tonight. Welcome, Miss Angelique, to WMO. Hi. Hi, guys. I, I mean, I don't really know how to follow up what Shrimp's, like, intro. He kind of had, like, the best intro, so well, I, I can't really follow. I wasn't shaving Stamp. before this, but, you know, I'm just saying. Okay. okay. Well, you can shave right now. I could. I could I, shave right now. I don't need to right you now. You like girls to shave. <laughs> shave what? <laughs> Just shave what exactly? Yeah. Anything you know what? Don't, don't answer like, that. Don't answer that. It's fine. Don't any that. extra foliage that you got going on? <laughs> foliage. Uh, uh, <laughs> manic hit the button. Manic hit the button. Manic hit the button. <laughs> no, I forgot to hit the button again. <laughs> No. Uh, Do you not hear the button? You, you, got, no. a, you got a button for that? We got a button for that. We got a button for everything. <laughs> the button Shit. For you for you button. No, that's no, not the right button. That's my favorite one, though. For no, the that's the wrong one. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy. But anyway, uh, Miss Angelique, again, it is a pleasure having you on. And are you ready for tonight? Fucking right I am. Woo! All right. Hey, Saga, Saga, quick question before you start. 
What's that? How come every time I pop into another Eagles <laughs> channel, you're already in there? Okay, so again, round one is 10 minutes. Well, how do you find this button, man? It wipes it so quick to find that. Wow. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> round one. Thank you, Manic. I, I appreciate you. Uh, round one is 10 minutes. We will start with, B for answers, we will start with BX Bullet, Peach Fit, and Miss Angelique. And for questions, we will start with Japan and Jones. I will always change up the order in which you guys answer it. But when battle time hits, that's when all of you fine ladies can speak over one another, try to win over your judge. Now, the judges here during battle time, if they want to have the floor for whatever reason to stop everyone from talking over one another, they can yell time out and just fire off a question. And it is up to you ladies to answer it. And that's it. All right. Inu, get ready to fire up that clock. Round one is about to begin. Japani Jones, what question do you have for my competitors? Hi. So I had a real rough night last night. So, you know, if we were dating, I was just, you know, wondering, um, what would you cook for me uh, for breakfast? And what are you guys wearing? Woo! All right, BX Bullet, you have the floor. Well, first, I guess I'd have to know kind of what you like. I mean, you seem, you know, like, so you live in Japan. So you probably have some specific tastes that I don't even know about yet. I would love for you to teach me how to cook whatever you like, because I'm really a, a strong learner and I really do enjoy cooking and learning how to cook. So I think that my first, that would be my first, uh, because right now I'm like a bacon and egg type of gal. So if you're, if you're a bacon and egg type of person, then, then I got you covered. But if you wanted something else, you know, I could, I could, uh, manage that too. And I don't know what, but, uh, what kind of, stuff would you like to see me wear you know i'm looking at you and you're, you're wearing this bandana it's super cool you've got like this this you, you're just oozing japan which is awesome you got so much culture behind you um yeah. but i think it also have to be i mean i i'm assuming we're dating in this scenario too yeah 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 okay like, you know, okay. whatever your specialty is you said bacon and eggs that's good okay I love bacon and eggs, man. I can make it to where, like, you know, you make the bacon first, you drain just a little bit of the grease, and then you make the eggs in the bacon grease. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, that's a good combo. But yeah, you know, yeah, if you yeah. have uh, something to cheer me up to put on, it's fine too. You know, just being, you know, creative, imaginative. That's all. Uh, like I, I saw you mention like maybe like you wanted me to put like a little anime outfit. You like anime? Okay. 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 That's, yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Right, you have a specific right. one. Hmm. What's your favorite one? Favorite? I mean, probably Bulma. I'm just saying Bulma and, you know, Vegeta. That's, I like that one. I got blue hair right now. Kind of match her drapes, I guess, but that'd be a little weird. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. Well, I, I am you. a cosplayer. I do pretty put together some pretty strong cosplays. Okay. Okay. I dig that. Okay. I yeah. See. So, pretty you know, good, I, pretty good. Yeah, so basically I'm a pleaser. So I want to learn what you like and 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 go with that, you know. If if you want me to make you some more traditional Japanese breakfast, I could learn to do that too. Mm, okay. Okay. I see. I see. I kind of imagine Mr. and Mrs. Smith right now, but you know, cosplay wise, but yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I did one. It's on my Instagram. Uh you, you can check out my Mrs. Smith uh cosplay on there. Yeah. Very nice. Very I already nice. have the costumes for that. If that's what you wanted, like real sophisticated, you know, but like I'm holding an AR kind of like behind the counter while I'm cooking the bacon and eggs kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Or like a pistol with like a suppressor. Okay. That sounds, sounds pretty nice. Sounds pretty nice. All right. We're okay. slowing down. Peach bit. You are next. Well, first of all, I mean, you said that you had a rough night. I'm guessing you're hungover. The quickest fix is that I'm going to make you finish up that lukewarm three quarters empty um, beer, nightstand beer. Um, then you'll get a nice black cup of Folgers coffee. From there, I mean, I've actually been to Japan twice. I was a Japanese minor in college. Um, so I do know exactly, <laughs> exactly what you're missing in Japan. And it is an eggs and bacon. You can get that. It's some of the really just like disgusting shit. And we're really going to take you back to America. We're going to get you maybe just some like bagel bites for breakfast. Um, I don't know, maybe some some weird cheap orange juice that isn't really made out of real juice. Um, like the 1% yeah, real concentrate. juice type of shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, I, I know like Wet Shrimp here is he's giggling because he's never actually had food that good before. Um, I mean, I don't need, no. I think he's eating Twinkies with his food right now, or maybe that's a hot dog bun. Um, the so, bun. I mean, at that point, we'll probably invite him over, um, you know, actually give him some sustenance. Yeah. And I'm then maybe you can work. actually grow more of a, a beard, you know? 
I was laughing because it said Japanese actually... minor, and then yeah. the host got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of minor, okay? All right, we're slowing diversity. down. Not that uh, kind of minor. We're, we're slowing down, Miss Angelique. You are next. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I'm not cooking you anything because I'm probably hungover too. Um, I'm also not a morning person. So the best hangover food is something really greasy. That's that's what Jersey taught me. So I'm going to get you like a nice like bacon, egg, and cheese bagel sandwich. And um, I'm going to be wearing something super fuzzy, like snuggy, because whenever you're hungover, all you want to do is like lay and cuddle and like feel secure. So like I'll like lay there and you can like snuggy and eat your bagel. I think that's ecstasy. Very lovely things. I mean, the number one thing I'd want to eat is shrimp in front of white shrimp. Just people. Yeah, fuck you, dude. And uh, Pop hopefully them, like, get dried shrimp. my iodine out. But yeah, yeah, okay. Good right. answers. Okay. Sp yeah. Speaking of shrimp, shrimp, you're next. What question do you have for my competitors? And guys, there's 15 seconds left until battle time. All right. Did you switch up the order already, Saga? Yes, I did. All right. Describe, okay, so the, the rest of you, there's three people here. Describe the other two as animals and explain why you picked the animal for them. All right, it is now battle time. All you ladies can speak over one another unless you want to give it, the ladies the floor here. It's going to start off with Peach, Bit, Miss Angelique, and BX mm -hmm. Bullet. But again, you guys can all speak at the same time. Go right ahead. All right, so what's the, what animal we want to be or what animal we think we would be? No, no the, the other, other two people, people would be. Yeah. 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 Oh, would the be. other two people. I would Honestly, Miss Angelique, you look tall. Are you tall? I'm 5'8". I'm not that tall, but like you got long legs, so I, I don't know. I would think like a gazelle. I think she's like a gazelle. <laughs> a gazelle? Yeah. And then I don't know, Peach, but when I look at you, I can only see a zebra because of your shirt. But just because we're looking at animals. This is actually, this shirt. is dark blue. Oh, well, not you black. know. Yeah. Well, you're a dark blue striped zebra, you know. Don't don't discriminate. Zebras can come in all right. colors. I mean, honestly, I think you're both beautiful women, Um, which is – and – you know, I, I know you personally, and it's nothing personal at that. But um, if you know about koalas, they're cute on the outside, but um, they're smooth-brained, and they won't actually eat eucalyptus that's taken off the tree. Um, they eat their mother and father's poop. Um, so I think maybe the whole, you know, being cute, fluffy, but not quite getting it type of thing from the competitors. <laughs> they were both koalas. <laughs> not quite both koalas, it. Nice. Does it look like I don't know how to eat eucalyptus off the tree? Okay, I'm thick with like three seeds. I said they don't. You can eat it off the tree. It's I'm whether it's on the plate. Not know how to feed. Oh, myself. they also all have chlamydia, but I'm not gonna imply I anything. Sm I smoke eucalyptus. That gets rid of the chlamydia, so don't worry. I'm good. Um, That's <laughs> my wall is that right there. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, I think that you're. I'm um, sorry, BX is Becca, right? Your name is Becca. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Okay, you remind me of like a jaguar, like especially like like sexy black, like you have your guns, like you're fierce, like hell yeah, like you, you know, remind me of that. And then Peach, like you remind me of like a cute little, like um, like a little, like a, like a, like a little hedgehog or like a mouse. I used to have a hedgehog. I loved her. <laughs> I had a hedgehog and it was a fucking asshole. That shit used to like bite my, like one time I bit my dad so hard, like slammed it down on the fucking patio like this. A hedgehog? Oh, yeah. We thought it was dead. Then we gave it to the zoo. But what do we think wet shrimp and Chapani Jones are? And I don't really think wet shrimp mm. as much as he thinks. I don't think he's a shrimp. No, he's not a shrimp. He's a... Um... He reminds me of those angler fish that are underneath the ocean with that yes. thing on them that look really mean oh with the big God, teeth. They're so mean and ugly. And that's what he reminds Can? me of. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just saying. That's what he reminds me of. <laughs> no, he doesn't. And then Japandi actually reminds me of a koala. Only yeah, I, don't think he, I don't know why I see koala too when I look at Japandi, but not in the yeah, not in like the chlamydia too. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah what, uh, what? I don't know. See, I, I was gonna say he looks like a red panda because you know they're like mm, mm, the red panda is oh, a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I would go for the angular uh, angler fish. For Who called BX bullet a cougar? It's like a mongoose. I mean, I could, like it's like a mongoose. I called her a cougar. I called her a jaguar. I hear you. Okay. So that's the same thing? I think that's no, a great it's not cougar. the same thing. Or like the same family. Family, yes. Cat I like cougars. I love sure. big cats. I'm sure you do. Oh, yeah. You like cats. cougars, huh? <laughs> you love <laughs> cats. I'm a twitch senior. That's right. Like them older women. I'm a mature woman. Sorry. <laughs> when does, when does you need someone to take care of him. <laughs> when do you start getting those oh, twitch benefits? Care of you, baby. If you had yeah, someone to watch my shirt, do you start getting security, <laughs> social security? I don't know. No, I'm not quite there yet. Yeah. 
Dope Builds, uh, I got into Dope Builds DMs the other day and I was just kind of asking them what to expect next year when I do apply for Social Security. You know, I don't think yeah, I'm getting them. <laughs> I think to get retire or, or retirement checks or pension, I think it would actually depend on you having a job pre turning 60. So I don't know if you necessarily. Yeah, I, I have three jobs, four really, if you count Twitch, but I don't. Yes. Hmm. All right, real quick, there's one minute left. What would your last exes say about you? Oh, he wants I to was on my fucking house. Yeah. Oh, that's a good sign. What? Yeah, he wants to fucking burn it. Yeah. <laughs> it was Saga Gather. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> that's it? No. Did he say that? No, there's still 30 minutes left. No, there's 30, 30, no, 30 left. seconds left. There's 30 is seconds he, left. My, my last, my last right ex wouldn't say anything because I bombed his He's house. Oh, oh, no, I'm kidding. No. Holy oh, shit. no. I mean, I actually just threw out a letter from my ex just apologizing and say how, like, great I am and how much they miss me. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I let him live in my house for free, so that might have been that. Oh, is that what we're calling boyfriends? Okay, because I was thinking about something more substantial than a you know, like a simp on Twitch or something. An ex husband, maybe. And with that being said, oh. that is the end of the round. <laughs> I, this was entertaining to watch because the judges really just sat there and watched the entire thing go down. <laughs> Can we just reverse roles and have you ladies as the judges? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. But, uh, okay, so. Uh, round two is about to begin. Inu, go and fire up that clock. We're going to play the Pogo Mighty Graphics, and we're just going to kick it into round two. And then the first five minutes, it's, you know, the, the guys here fired off questions one by one. And the final five minutes, it goes to battle time again. So, guys, round two is about to begin. This is WMO. Thank you again for tuning in. <laughs> All right, that's it. That is the Paul Gomighty round two graphics. <laughs> All right, so guys, again, round two is about to begin. Ten minutes on the clock. We're going to start off with Japani Jones, and then uh, we lost somebody. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go back to the bracket again. Uh, Japani. Oh, Japani's go? gone. Well, I'm here. I'm here. Is, is it working? Uh, you need a knock again. Oh, you came in. Yeah, you All came in. Things we do. Are we good? I had the perfect joke for that, but I, I decided to not say it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we're good to go. And we're going to start off with Japandi Jones. So Japandi, okay. what question do you have for my competitors? Uh, I'm still feeling rough, right? I want to be inspired. Uh, I like to hear each uh, and everyone's presidential speech to run for 2020. All right, so we're gonna start with Miss Angelique. We're going Peach Pit and BX Bullet, and somebody's already playing their theme song. <laughs> what is that in the background? Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm just going crazy. All right, Miss Angelique, you are next. Fire off that clock now, Inu. All right, put on the spot. Well, it, the year is the year is 2020. We are not doing so well with Corona. So my first order of business is everybody stays the fuck in their house, and no one is allowed to leave until the shit is completely gone. However, I will not make vaccines like a mandatory thing because those kind of freak me out but we're just all gonna do our best to, like make sure it's fine right okay i'm gonna give out everybody like a new a new uh stipend check we're gonna have a new check i'm also gonna send along some weed for you guys some booze everybody's gonna get rations of weed booze and some gift cards for like their favorite kind of like place to, like order food you know and the government themselves are gonna deliver it that way no you know, regular citizens are in the way of possibly getting COVID. So on top of that, I am making Netflix and Hulu
Hulu free. I am gifting a thousand subs to every single streamer. The government's going to gift a thousand subs to every single streamer. Um, and um, and yeah, that's that's my that's my speech. Wow, lovely, lovely. Vote, okay. vote Angelique. That's pretty good. Okay. Ooh, all right, we're slowing down. Okay. Beach bit. You are next. Let's be honest, I don't even know if we're going to make it to 2021. So um, assuming that I'll actually make it to the end of my you know, presidency in 2024, that's just out of the question. So I don't really need to worry about what I actually do. I just need to worry about getting into office. So I'm right there with Miss Angelique on just giving the people whatever they want, regardless of the consequences. Um, so free booze, um, free weed, I mean, whatever other recreational drugs, even just make everything recreational at that point. Um, I say allow there to be like a monthly purge, you know, allow people to do whatever the fuck they want without any law, you know, for 24 hours, once a month, something like that. Um, a lower population might actually help with the population density and avoiding COVID. So that might actually be a good thing. Um, and then also people, you know, they'll have a, a quicker, you know, hopefully um, less painful death if it's from the purge rather than from COVID um, and underlying health issues. And um, yeah, I think if we have so little time left, it might as well be a party. Okay. okay. Nice. Purge. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, all right. Okay. Damn. All right. We're going forward. BX, you're next. I, first of all, I think that's that, that's a pretty nihilistic point of view, right? I think at this point, I do kind of agree that, that um, you know, we're fucked, but I think that the world has been fucked for quite a while. So my focus as president is going to be getting the fuck off the planet and getting to Mars. Um, that's why uh, Elon Musk is going to be my vice president. He's going to be in charge. We're going to fully roll out the SpaceX program. I'm going to be sending probably wet shrimp in Japan. Do you guys need to be cabinet members so that we can select a, you know, a deserving portion of people to make it onto our ship to go populate Mars? Uh, yes, there could be other viruses on Mars, um, but uh, you know, that's a chance that we're going to be willing to take. I mean, we've already weathered the storm here. Why weather it any longer? Let's just get the fuck off this rock. You know, let's let's be pioneers. Let's just get out off, off there. And as far as the drugs, there won't be there won't be as many drugs as you guys are saying. You know, I'm thinking there will be some good hallucinogens so that we can stare at the the stars and the universe and the solar systems while we're up in space and probably some weed. But I'm not going to just make it a free for all like degenerate booze and craziness. Now there will be gambling on the ship. Definitely will be gambling. Uh, we'll also have to get Elon Musk to come up with some, some technology so that we can still stream on Twitch, you know, because people who are down here suffering on Earth are going to want to see what fun we're having on the spaceship and on in Mars. Like, so, so that's my presidential. Uh, it's just get the fuck out of here, you know, and we'll just leave the rest of the Americans to fend for themselves. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be like a purge, like, uh, like, uh, like Peach Spit said. Can we comment Ooh. on what people say or no? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Not until like the, the battle time. It's been, oh. wow, Bog Almighty, let's go. Good All answers, right. though. Good answers. All right, which room? I'm in talks with next. SpaceX, too, by the way. Yeah, uh, my question, um, I there, there's someone in here who claims to be in their 20s but keeps telling me stories from World War II, like their personal experiences, in a fake voice. So what do you guys think about people who lie about their age? <laughs> Well, I, 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 mean, I just tell my age. We're going to go Peach Pit, BX Bullet, Miss Angelique. Oh, I we so Peach Sorry. Pit, go ahead. Pongo lady. Um, I think it's really cool to lie about your age. Um, I think if, you know, fake it till you make it. Um, and I think a lot of cases, um, you know, even with some people in this room, um, I think it has worked where you really do just become, you know, 20 or in your 20s. Um, and if you convince other people of it, and if they'll never actually meet you in real life, what does it matter? Um, if you want to be in your 20s, just be in your 20s. Who says you can't? That's a good point. I agree with lying. Um, who needs a social security number? Just withdraw all your money, put it all in gold. Um, you don't actually have a real identity at that point, and you can be whatever you want. Just stay online. And now I've a lot of people in real life, actually, but... Yeah, are we? Is that is that the free for all buzzer? Yeah, yeah that, that's the battle oh, yeah. time buzzer I mean, going. Look, look, <laughs> just remember, guys, as long as you have good health care and and a, a you know and a good a good uh, a Botox person, then that, you're all set. Nobody ever needs yeah. to know how old you are. But at the same time, your age can come through in other more entertaining ways, if you know what I mean. Because with age comes life experience uh, of all kinds. So it's definitely cool to be a little bit older, but that doesn't I mean you have to tell anybody how old you are. 
Yeah, I think I there's an age that you are and there's an age that you feel. And I feel like especially in like the industry, like in entertainment I and shit, like modeling and acting, like they really do judge you if you're a certain age, no matter how good you look, no matter how good you are. Like if you are, you have such a small gap and like, I found myself having to lie about things to get gigs because they believed that I was that age. And I was like, okay, cool. Like what the fuck does it matter? It's all like fucked up the industry. So unless you're I'm like, like, unless you're like an A-list celebrity, you know, like if you're like one of these hot ass fucking 50 year old, like Halle Berry looking like, are you kidding me? What the fuck? You know, those chicks can just be that old. And then all the newspapers and stuff will just applaud you for how old you are and how but you already got to be a celebrity yeah. at that point. And like not, you can't be starting out like that. If you look like you're 50 years old, just blame it on like cigarettes or I don't know. I mean, that's probably why. Exactly. Yeah, then- exactly. I mean, if you actually took care of yourself, you would look young. So, I mean, uh, a lot of it's a year old that looks okay. pretty, just blame yeah. it on that. And then at that yeah, point, blame it on that. They, like, if you really want to look older, why wouldn't you just want to look older? Why wouldn't you lie about being older? It's cool to be older, you know? Sure. And but then I mean, when you found out that you're actually, you know. Harbor or something, and then the money yeah. that you win for the lawsuit, you can put into bo- uh, Botox or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then they go, full cycle. You can be young. Yeah. You don't lie about being young. <laughs> at, at least blame the way you look now on your meth addiction. Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, like, cool too. and you'll make a lot more friends. Hopefully. Maybe a different kind of community, but it's still a community. Yeah. community right now, honestly. Okay. Don't worry about it. Do. Pandy, you're next. What question do you have? <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, how much time we got here? We got a couple minutes. Okay. Uh, okay, Okay. Uh, for your future kids or current kids, um, if they're to walk in on you getting piped by your partner, you're piping your partner. How would you explain the birds and bees to them in the current day? I'm piping my partner like I am having a strap on, like I am fucking him in the <laughs> ass. Like, what is the yeah, situation either, either, here? Yeah, either way. So okay. have to, either how way. old is the kid? Yeah. I do have a kid. She's three. If she walked in at something okay, like okay. that now, I just tell her to go back to bed and I'd she hopefully that she'd forget. Happen. You're going to gaslight your daughter? What? Oh. You're going to tell her it wasn't happening and just go back to bed? Yeah, it was a dream. <laughs> it was just a dream. Oh, it doesn't actually exist. But I'm also not it's about not. lying to kids. I'm not going to tell her there's a fucking stork that comes and flies through my window and drops her in my fucking lap. Yeah. I've I already told her that, that she you came out of my me. vagina. I've already you're- literally told her, like, you spent nine months in here, and then you came out of me. You are part of me, so you're going to mind. because Your you kid doesn't me. believe in Santa? You better respect because you are me. Did you tell well, your kid about Santa? No, I was so so I I was on the fence about Santa, but so basically I told her that that Santa comes and knocks politely on the door and then gives her gifts from her family. <laughs> because why do I want her to believe that a fat old man is fucking falling down her chimney in the middle of the night? Fucking no, that's a stranger. There should never be a fat old man in our downstairs without without me there. And then yes, I don't saga. want her to be ungrateful either. I don't want her to be like you know thinking this old man is giving her gifts. No, those are from your fucking family who love you. You know, so that's honestly, my idea, Santa. I walked in on me, you know, piping with my partner or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. I would just ask if they wanted a little brother or sister, you know. And most times, depending mm-hmm. on their age, they say yes. So then they associate mm-hmm. it with a good thing. And in fact, they'll just ask, you know, is mommy and daddy going to do it again? And they hope for it. They just want more little siblings. Huh. I'm not having kids, so this question doesn't apply to me. So I'm just gonna go with I'm not having kids. And that's what if that's you were that's babysitting? Uh, you know, if I was babysitting and the kid wasn't on me fucking, your oh my god, your friend's, I'm kid, your friend's kid. Well, I'm a in horrible idea. fucking friend. If you I'm babysitting and fucking someone so in the house, you never told Damn. his parents. I feel like that's a weird situation that I I would not put myself in. <laughs> if I told. <laughs> I would I would just pretend it wasn't happening, like when I got walked in by my boyfriend's parents at the time when I was a teenager. Yeah, it's the same shit. A dream, just like Bx said, it doesn't. Matter. I would just lay there really quickly, just you know. It doesn't matter if you're your friend in their thirties. Just tell them it's just a dream and go back to bed. Hmm. I mean, yeah, if she's like that young, then yeah. Ooh, all right, that is that is the end of round two. This was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, this is extremely hard to judge, and please, nobody make a random comment on that in the chat room. Please avoid that at all costs. But, uh, okay, so Edu, please move Japan Jones and Wedge Rip to a separate room, and they're going to decide on the two that will advance to round three. All right, can I talk sh- Oh, boy. <laughs> I caught him, like, right... Wedge Rip knows the best timing for that. Jesus. All right, there we go. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 
All right, so guys, who do you think is uh, winning? Who do you guys think is winning? Who do you think is going to make it through, all right? They got a vote to keep, all right? So they're going to decide on the two ladies that will go to round three. If they end up in a tie and they can't decide... Then it'll go to the boomers. It'll go to the off-screen boomers. So if these judges cannot decide on who they want to advance to round three, it'll go to the boomers. The boomers are, and you guessed it, Pog freaking almighty. It is Dope Builds Gaming Chaotic Old Board. <laughs> so, yeah, I see Dope Builds in the chat room, and I saw Chaotic, so they were awake throughout the entire thing. So they've been watching, but there's some times that I think they fall asleep. And you know what? A guy who's going to fall asleep into the stream judging who should win the damn thing. Because that's the worst. You never want that to happen. All right. But anyway, uh, guys, this has been badass, dude. I This is so awesome. I know you're drunk, dope. I know you're drunk. This is not news to me. <laughs> this is not news i'm kidding i love you man but anyway right now japani jones and wet shrimp are talking in a separate room and they're deciding who should advance to round three realistically this game's all about just being charismatic just being entertaining and engaging the judges in a very charismatic conversation so who stood out who stood out was it peach bit and bx bullet was it bx bullet miss angelique which two should advance to round three you guys decide. You know, you guys, you know, whoever you're supporting right now, go and fire it up in the chat room. And if, again, if you're with BX Bullet, let it, let it be known. If you're with Miss Angelique, let it be known. And if you're with Peach Schmidt, let it be known. I think they all did amazing. I think it was all fun. I feel like for a short time there, the judges were watching the stream with me. Like, they were like, they, they, they couldn't say anything because it was very entertaining. It was hard. Like, all of these ladies engaged in a very entertaining conversation. You could absolutely tell that, uh, that they know what they're doing, that they know how to engage the men. <laughs> Here we go. Dem Dem Demo Gorgon says Angelique. Oh, gotcha. All right. Silax says Miss Angelique BX Bullet. Okay, we got two going through right there. So we got two for Miss Angelique. She does have, um, she does have experience with our competition. Absolutely. I hope they, they choose the news girl. Who is the news girl certified ninja? I am so confused. Pee Weasel, can the clock win? Only if you want it to, good buddy. Only if you want it to. Uh, those three are my peeps. I can never ick. I could never ick. I'm going to repeat that again. Beagles B said, those three are my peeps. I could never ick. I would just like to preface this that he said ick. <laughs> what the heck? Ah, uh, clearly typing with one hand, Goldsby. One hand mafia. <laughs> I'm messing with them. I'm messing with you. Uh, here we go. So Mike Kipps. Uh, Mike Kipps, I know you're, you're over here because your panties here. But what girl? What girls do you think should go to round three? There we go. All right. So let's scroll up here really quick. Die Fox. Grandpa, gather misses his water. Yes, I do. I am sweating bullets right now because this is crazy. Uh, let me see. Let's see if I got a DM. Uh, woo, they're taking a little bit. This is taking a little longer than expected. This could end up in a tie. And if it goes to a tie, you know where this is going to go. You know where it's going to go. It is going to go to the boomers. Dope Builds Gaming in the chat room is going to go right to him. I don't know if you guys want that. <laughs> uh, also, I vote let shrimp compete. He cannot compete. Oh, no, wait, let me talk to you about oh, this. Is ridiculous. Hold on. He cannot compete in the women's season. It's just, it's the women's season, man. It's the women's season. He can't compete. He's a judge. He's a judge. Calm down. He's a judge. 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 He's a judge. All right, here we go. Spiral Attic, wet shrimp, wet shrimp. So much wet shrimp emotes everywhere. I mean everywhere. <laughs> All right. Arcacia, Song Gather, amazing show. I'm subbing. Well, I love you. I love you. I love you in the ways that a streamer loves the chat room. I just... Mwah. All right, but I got a DM. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. 
I got I got I got to go to a separate room with these guys really quick. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see here. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh boy. Uh, round two is one elimination. They might have just eliminated somebody. Hold on. All right, so I might be going to the boomers here. They they can't decide. I just got a DM from Wench Rip Andrew Panny Jones. They cannot decide. They are oh boy. They don't build in chaotic. You guys better get ready because these guys can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to the boomers most likely oh my god it is going to the boomers hold on wait let me see this let me see hold on i'm reading the dms okay hold let me let me uh hold on you guys can't hear them i'm gonna go to a separate room okay hold on wait see if i can dm these guys really quick hold on where are we at here i just dm them uh let's see boom 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 let me see, let me see, judge room one. Move him down, move him to judge room one. Give me one second, you guys can hear me. <laughs> All right, guys, guys, real quick, okay? So the stream can't hear you guys, but they can hear me. So I, I got conflicting DMs. So is it is it going to the boomers or do you know who you want to eliminate? They're badass. This is hard, dude. <laughs> All right. So we, we've, we, we, WMO's three rounds. That's the thing. We, we can't extend it. So you can give it to the boomers. If you feel like it's completely undecided, you do not have to choose. It can go to the boomers. <laughs> They're deciding right now. All right, so it's just a, just a, just a preface this. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We've never done this in WMO. We've never done this. So, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up to the Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. We're going to go to the If I know how to click things. I am so bad at this. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm back. So, we've never Okay. We've never done this in WMO history at all. And I, I guess that's a good thing. I like, I like uh, you know, um, innovating, changing up the format a little bit. WMO is normally three rounds, right? Round two, there's one elimination. Round three comes down to the final two. But you guys did so well as a three that they, they can't decide. And I've had people DM me asking for just one more round. So, at the end of the day, the chat rooms asked me to do one more round. Th these judges want one more round. I am going to leave it to you three. Yeah. Whoever that was. <laughs> you guys. The, the the, okay, so this, this uh, um, sudden death round would literally be only five minutes. Because I want to stay with the WMO time frame. So, here we go. Peach Pit, do you want one more round? I mean, when, like, Red Shrimp and Japan Jones were in the other room, I was literally saying, like, man, I wish it could just be us three for another round. So, hell yeah. Okay, so Peach Pit, you want one more round. Got it. BX Bullet, do you That's want fine. one more? There we go. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Angelique, do you want yes. one? There we go. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> All right, this is sudden death. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So... <laughs> People get sudden death after this. What's no, up? Just one. Only one. Only one. This down the final two. But you guys are so damn good together that it's just I, I, we need a sudden death round. We need it, baby. Let's go. Okay. So sudden death round is battle time. You guys can speak freely, and most likely, I feel like me, Japani Jones, and Wishrip are just gonna watch this shit go down, and we're probably not gonna have any questions. <laughs> gonna watch you guys just engage in a conversation, and enjoy the shit. <laughs> but with that being said. Uh, I will start with Wet Shrimp. So Wet Shrimp, fire off a question, and it'll be up to the ladies to continue from there. Five minutes yeah, on I, the clock, go right ahead. I love, like, having multiple rounds. So, like, this was good. Um, let's, let's make this simple. Who do you think 
deserves to win the least here. <laughs> what? Uh, what a cop out. That's a cop out. Cop out question. Cop out question. So, Uncreative. Right. Uncreative. All right, All right let's, let's do it another way. Uh, tell me a time you went after revenge and actually okay. went through with it. Hmm. Well, I'm a Scorpio, so I can be very vengeful, um, um, hey, but I'm, I'm also very forgiving also. Yeah, see, that's me. I'm a Scorpio, but like, I'm old girl. Oh, that's why we like each other so much. Fucking I'm an Aquarius, I like and I <laughs> fuck shit up, so here we go. So the one dude that I was talking to, um, he wound up having a girlfriend the entire time that we were dating for three months. So what I did was I printed out all of our text messages where he was saying, hey, babe, love you, all this other shit. I had chopped them up really nice at FedEx. I stuffed them in his hat that he left at my house. I FedExed them to his girlfriend's house, and he blocked me, and I haven't heard from him since. Wow, I so have never done anything like that. I did I did have a similar <laughs> situation of recent boyfriend uh, was cheating on me and then he re he was talking about this girl and I noticed her on his uh, Instagram or whatever so I was like who's this girl I asked him about it he's like yeah we used to date before you blah 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 so like uh, she started following me on Instagram randomly and I was like all right so we started talking we became like best fucking friends you know yeah. as girls do and we found out that he was with both of us at the same time we could even look at our text and see where he was telling me he was leaving to go over to her house uh -huh. so, I'm also, like I am definitely friends with this one girl because she, I actually found out from her because she told me that she fucked this one guy that I was my boyfriend and she didn't even know and then we just became best friends well, we both gained it. Like we we both were texting him the same time to try to get him to confess, but we were sharing the screenshots with each other, you know. And then eventually, we were both like, you know what, fuck you. And then we both just ghosted him at the same time, and now we're still best friends. I love how it's all about guys. I just love how everything's like revenge. Oh, of course, dude. I don't Got know. It. So, I don't know. It, it's so much work being revengeful, in my opinion. Yeah, I I just, I just I'm more chill. I don't. I don't Exactly. I just want to fucking I kill. Like, I'd much rather not fret on it and ignore the issue and push it back and push it in deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and, deeper and just mind my business and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, I don't get any trauma from it. Well, yeah, that's so how, that's how my are. That's and how that we are. It's, it's not about revenge. It's about once scorned. Like, yeah. you'll never be cool with me again. We're scorched earth. That's it. Bye. You're not even worth my fucking time for revenge kind of person. That's how I am. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm very. I have. I have to force myself to forgive, and even then, I'll hold a fucking grudge against me forever. I'm, I'm trying to okay. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't hold grudges either. I mean, he's he's great. Where where you know? If I saw him, I'd say hello. <laughs> but <laughs> you're the opposite. You just get it out of the way. Just like I need to. I need to get out of the way. I always like say like, do no That's harm. Probably helps no you over time because you don't hold and harbor resentment throughout. Your no, life. I do not at all. Zero. I like say my piece and then I'm done and that's you're it. But I need to say my piece. In jail, though, but I should in my ex no, 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 no. Uh, People who go to jail months. are the ones that get caught. I don't get caught. This, if you don't get away <laughs> with it, you go to jail. Not yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Japan, you got a question? It wasn't five yet, was it? No, it's two. No, no, two no. More. You got one minute oh, and okay. 50 seconds left. Yeah. No, watch him. If you shot in my pillowcase, okay. I would thank you. That would be a gift. I wouldn't be revenge. I've definitely never no. shit in a pillowcase to, to get back, get revenge on somebody. You just make yourself oh, shit in a pillowcase? Like that. I don't know. Like, Japan, I've you never got a been question? into that kind of stuff. My G? Yeah, I got Let's Yeah, my G over here. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Should this be good? Uh, how would you sell yourself to my mom? Not nice. a good part. Oh, moms love me. So it's basically hyping yourself up. Hype yourself up in a way, right? I just tell them who I am, and they love me. See, I lie. Okay. I just say the best thing. I know a mom. I come from a really strict household and like a helicopter mom, so I know exactly. I have years of experience of lying to mothers. I'm really fucking good at it. And at this point, honestly, the lie is kind of so embedded in me that I kind of became it. So it's just gonna fall. That What's your a good house lie? What's a good lie you gave to around mom? You eventually. Well, you gotta, you gotta kind of feed into the mom a little bit. You gotta listen. A lot of listening. Moms love to talk, so you listen, and then you just agree. But you can't just say I agree. You just gotta egg her on. You gotta make her feel so good about herself because afterwards they just come to you and say, "Wow, she's such a nice, smart girl." Because you just let the you raise the moms on a pedestal, and that's all they want. See, maybe I'm just a bitch. I don't care anymore, but I don't want to prove anything to your mom. I don't prove who I am to anybody. I don't lie or I don't prove to myself. So I'm just going to be myself. And if she likes me, cool. Just and if she doesn't, you. oh, well. What, is, what, what kind of, what, what's your mom like? 
Uh, she's like, I don't know, a few steps into the grave. She's real fucking old. Japanese? Uh, exactly. so yeah, Japanese. She's tiny. She's a widow. Um, she's super nice. She does rap songs. She wants attention. Yeah, she wants attention. She wants you to call her every night. I would call her every single night and talk to her. And that, oh, that, that you is, don't have to. That's the end of the round, guys. That is it. That's the sudden death uh, five minutes. Uh, wow. Okay. This is badass. Um, yeah. Okay, Inu, move uh, my judges down to. Can we do another round? Woo. No, yeah, this, is we, we, this is fun. This is awesome. I would love this to, dude, fun. but I, I got to stay <laughs> with the format. Fun. I know we have a sudden death round, but this is badass. But yeah, let's, let's get you guys to a separate room and then uh, let's discuss. Wow, this is badass. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, this is so, this is so fucking cool, guys. Like, this is so fucking cool. Like,. Like, listening to these conversations, it's like you get tied into it, and <laughs> literally, like, I, I shit you not, literally, it pulls you in. Like, this is a badass cast! Like, dude, I don't think anyone would have thought that this would, like, the conversation, these ladies are dominating the fucking stream! <laughs> They're dominating! Like, this is badass! They're, like, dominating this new format, so... I mean, how can you choose a winner? <laughs> the fact that you guys... Okay. Okay, guys. You gotta stop calling me Grandpa Gather. Like, I'm not old, dude. I'm, like, in my early 30s. <laughs> in my early 30s. You gotta calm down. But anyway, um, this is so badass. Like, there's no way to choose a winner in this. And it sucks to eliminate somebody. It fucking sucks. But... It, you know, again, one has to be eliminated. <laughs> it is a game. But honestly, these guys, you know, the judges did amazing. These ladies did amazing. I I, I would love to have all these ladies back on <laughs> again. Like, they're badass. This is so fucking cool. Like, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that this would have been so damn good, right? And it was so damn good. Oh, my God. Okay, these guys are... Oh my god, they want another round. Are you kidding me? Pog to the almighty. Pog to the almighty. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm about to pull these. Hold on. Give me a second. I think I hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, real quick. I'm gonna mute really quick. Hold on, wait, wait. Pog Almighty, I feel like I'm getting trolled now. <laughs> okay, you guys are okay. okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna point this out. I'm gonna point this out. Alright. My competitors, Miss Angelique, VX Bullet, and Peach Pit, dominated this co this whole competition right now. They're doing badass. But my judges, they're like, they can't make a decision. And I understand. I totally understand. This fucking sucks. <laughs> that fucking camera angle for Japandi, though. Yeah. Like, huh? you're, you're, you're a camera angle right now. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> we we can see your Adam's apple. That's, that's, how, that's what we can see. That's, but, uh, that's a nice okay. incident angle. So I, <laughs> I I can't I can't do another set of death round. There's really only one in the books. But with that being said, because nobody can choose. Uh, okay, all right. Let, I got I got. Okay, I need to get my other judge to DM me again, to or we're giving it to the boomers. That's it. I need my other judge to DM me right now, or we're giving oh. it to the boomers. Shoot. Oh. Hey, Saga, you, literally... you better be paying me overtime for this third Oh my god, round, not man. paying anyone. Pog Almighty. You should. You what, you paid? Paid? Fucking oh, getting scammed god. over here. He's wearing the yeah, same yeah. tank Fresh top from like four months ago. I'm not paying him anything. Scam <laughs> <laughs> right, no, and gather. But I need, uh, I, I do need a, the, the DM for both of you guys. Please DM me if we're giving it to the boomers okay. or if we're. <laughs> I, each time I say boomers, I feel like Dopefield's gave a character like. Well, so I'll gather you're an asshole. <laughs> I feel like they say that every single time. Okay. I don't All think right. they care because you're in the same age bracket as they are. I am Jeez, not in the same age bracket. I, I'm, like, I'm in my wow. young 30s. All right. Yeah, okay. But, but anyway, uh, okay. All right. Well, we do have an elimination, which literally everyone just wanted to do another round, but we're going to stay with the format. But Pog Almighty, I, I need to have... You ladies, back on regardless. I mean, this is so cool. This is so cool. Like, I feel like I was watching somebody else's stream right now. This is badass. <laughs> All right. Well, hard, hard, hardest decision of the season, and it's going to be the hardest decision of the season because I feel like it's going to be hard to match up these, this pairing. 
It really is. But moving on to round, I guess technically at this point be round four. <laughs> moving on to round four, it will be uh, Peach Spit and BX Bullet. Literally, wow, this is crazy. Like, you guys are all badass. Miss Angelique, I, I appreciate you for jumping on board. Wow, I gotta have you back on. Like, and I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna have the same judges. I'm kidding. I love you, West Trip in Japan. You guys are like badass. If I can just oh, yeah, don't have Asian judges anymore. I got no, it. No, I'm not gonna say oh, I that. It. I did I not it. say that. <laughs> no, well, but really, we're like, all thinking it. I see you. Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous. Wanna but take anyway, this out. oh I my god, you're you beautiful. I want to simp on you. Please come. Oh, on thank you, time. thank you. I'd love to. Miss Angela is a true badass. Miss Angela, thank you guys. Give me that Paul Almighty outro. I appreciate everything. You guys, you ladies literally killed it tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for having me. It was so nice meeting you girls and the judges, of course, again. And I will see you later. Bye. Please Bye. go check Bye. out Miss Angelique. Bye. She's awesome. On it. A yeah. true badass. You want to hang out? And Great it, pictures went from Tom She hasn't even left this Discord yet. Already <laughs> sliding in the DMs. All right, but anyway, again, Miss Angelique, thank you so much. Wow, this is thank so you. Badass. No problem. And again, like, you know, th this is all hard to judge. And again, like, these ladies just kicked ass. Like, it's just really fucking good. Um, I need my uh, my timer guy to join uh, the... Hold on. I need, I need my timer guy to join the whereby. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and uh, jump in there, uh, Paul Almighty. There we go, you do. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, let's go to the elimination screen really quick. This is so hard. This could have easily been a finals, guys. Like, how well Miss Angelique, how well BX Bullet, how well Peach Pit dominated this kind of a competition. This could have been a finals. Like, this could have been a finals. We got Miss Angelique. I need you back. I need you back because, you know, and whoever, whoever wins this, I want whoever loses back on. You ladies are too damn good at this. Like, what? what? You guys are too damn good. You guys are the fucking hidden gems. Badass. All right. Well, it is now down to two. It is BX Bullet and Peach Spit. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Get ready. I'm about to unmute. It's radical and 10. here we go, Pog Almighty. I am back. Yes, I am. I am back, and I am still in my young 30s. <laughs> young 30s, baby. Young 30s. All right. Yeah. We well, heard the laugh right after. Why is my timer saying cap? All right, but anyway, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? All right, but anyway, uh, so here we go. It is now down to Peach Pit BX Bullet in a truly amazing WMO performance by all these ladies. Here we go. So, 10 minutes, and that's it. By the end of it, we'll have the final boss join for the final boss question. And then we're going to the judges for voting so they can tell me they want another round. <laughs> and it's all good. I'm loving this shit. Yeah. Here we go. So, we're going to start with Japani Jones, and then he's going to fire off a question. We will start again with Peach Pit. We're going to go to BX Bullet. Oh. And here we go. Japani Jones, what question do you have for my shit. competitors? Yep. <laughs> uh... Man, okay. Everyone's done this. Um, how have you disappointed your parents the most, and have you done anything to make up for it, or went the other way and rebelled the whole way? Well, like I said, um, I have lied to my mother literally my entire life, so she actually doesn't really know how much I've disappointed her. Um, to this day, okay. well, I think thinks I'm a virgin. Um, I remember at one point I had a UTI in high school, and she thought I was from sex, and I said no. I haven't drank water in about four days. Um, she believed it, as since she has no reason not to believe me. Um, and yeah, so I'm still a virgin. Um, I told her that I graduated college with honor rolls, and I told her that my college just actually won't send the degree um, for some reason. Um, so she just never has to know these things. If you just keep lying and you keep up your lies, she'll never know their lies. And then she'll just die happy too. It's much less stress on them. It's less stress You're on You're keeping her younger. Yeah, it okay, keeps her younger. About her health, I mean, actually, okay. young, Wet Shrimp has seen my mother. Um, she's in her 60s, but she looks 40. And Wet Shrimp said that he, you know, would be my stepdad. And I'm still holding him to that. Um, so, I mean, unfortunately, I hope that she's going to be disappointed in me as a stepdaughter. 
um, because he knows a lot more than my own mother and father do. But, you know, I'll hold true to it. Um, whatever makes my family happy, because family is so important to me that I'm willing to lie for them. Just a few white lies, like my entire life. Different take on Okay. All hmm. right. We're slowing down. PX Bullet, you are next. Well, me and my mom are like that, dude. So I'll tell her pretty much everything. But um, yeah, I mean, she's probably pretty disappointed that I'm streaming on Twitch, especially considering, you know, the fact that I have another job and stuff. And so, yeah, yeah, that was, she was pretty disappointed. In fact, one time she came onto my stream, she was lurking and she texted me afterwards and said, um, she was like, I was lurking on your stream. And I was like, uh, I didn't know what to say. Like, fuck, was I talking about butt sex? Like, what was I doing? And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, what do you think? She said, it's like watching a really bad movie that you just keep thinking is going to get better. So you keep watching it, but then it ends. And I was like, all right, OK, that's cold hearted. And then she called all my viewers nerds and said that I needed to wear a lower cut shirt to make the nerds happy. So <laughs> so I think my mom's pretty disappointed in the fact that I stream on Twitch. Um, but I did also grant her a beautiful grandchild who now she can dote on. And she's pretty much forgotten about me. I mean, I don't really care about me anymore. They just want to see the kids. So, you know, as long as I have her around as collateral, my parents can't really be disappointed in me because I've done this great thing, which is giving them that the, the grandchild. So it's like, you know, it, it kind of outweighs all the disappointments throughout the years, you know. Mm hmm. I see, I see. All right. Well, I okay. my question for you guys is let's say you you get this option or you get this choice for like the, the rest of your life. Every single day, there's a 10 second radio thing that you get to say anything you want, but you get to only say one thing for the rest of your life. So like what what would you say during those 10 seconds? Woo! All right, we're gonna go BX Bullet, then we're gonna go PH Spin. So BX Bullet, go right ahead. Okay, so can I clarify the question? Yeah, go so ahead. There's uh so you're on a radio show, but you only have 10 seconds and it plays every day for the rest of your life, like on the movie, Lo like on the show Lost or something. Pretty much is a recording of anything you want. It doesn't even have to be you saying it. It can just be you, you have a message you want to get across. What what message do you want to get across? My message is life? start using your brains again. Start thinking independently, thinking for yourself, forgetting what people around you say. Realize that society is a structure that we created based on lies and start just thinking for yourself and using your brain. But I would word it better. I would like write it down so that it sounded really good in 10 seconds. But it would basically say like, stop with the group thing and stop being a fucking follower. And people need to start using their fucking brains more. Quit being such idiots. Hmm. All right, good answer. How about Peach Spit? I also think that the world needs more critical thinking, which is why I would do a series of riddles and basically one long like treasure hunt. So I would just do every day, 10 seconds, a series of numbers. They could either be coordinates, they could be a phone number, they could really go to anything. It could be like a um, a lock or something for all people know. And the world's going to have to come together to try to figure out what these numbers mean. And, you know, it could be coordinates. If they go to the spot, there'll be more numbers, just be new numbers every single day. The numbers could even mean nothing, but people won't know that. They'll believe in something and it's going to be some omnipotent, you know, voice just naming off numbers to the world. So they're going to think it's something. And then maybe every so often you throw into the info wars like propaganda and they're just keep people interested if they get bored about the numbers you know tell them that like i don't know the birds are watching them or some shit like that they are are you fucking kidding me yeah birds aren't real the government wait, 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 wait. we haven't we haven't gotten to the five minute mark yet but we got 12 seconds left <laughs> all right japan what do you got well i was just gonna say like i would say at what shrimp make the screen red every single day <laughs> all right dude, that's me. and now yeah. we're at the uh, battle time <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead, ladies. And Japandi, what question do you have for my competitors? Oh, God. Um, this could be a quicker one, or I don't really have much on my mind right now. A little nicer, maybe. What's something in your life you're working on right now consciously, and how are you going about it? I'm working on my ass, honestly. I've been trying to do a lot of squats and stuff with quarantine. Um, I know I've been eating more, and I'm honestly a pretty petite girl. Um, and I'm definitely not going to be getting boobs unless from surgery so i really got to work on my asset um so honestly it? with me with the well uh, dm me Can we just um, check the form we, we yeah the form. um honestly i've been eating more and with quarantine i've been gaining more weight so i really just think i need to redistribute the weight to the proper section so i've been trying to do all those like ass workouts and stuff like that um and hopefully one day like you'll just be able to see them you know see my ass just from me sitting and stuff i'll be like elevated It'll make you taller when I'm sitting. Yeah. 
or like when you sit on the toilet it hangs off the side of the toilet yeah and that way if my ass is that elevated and that muscular then when i like take a shit the water won't splash back on me yeah yeah you cover all of it that's the that's the best type of muffin top oh yeah and then i think there are guys that are into that there there are a lot of you know like boob guys but i i gotta depend on the ass guys and then you know if you have a really special ass and not like the kim k like fake ass but like a truly like muscular just like thick ass i think there's oh, really community for that oh my gosh yeah, oh, see, I'm yeah, trying yeah. To look at a see i'm trying i'm going the opposite direction so like i i'm like people keep coming in thick with like eight c's i'm trying to get that down to where they can only fairly say two c's you know, so I'm really, really working on that. But also, I feel like people come in and they judge me and they're like, oh, this girl's got guns. She's going to shoot us. And I feel like that's unfair. Yeah. What I think I'm working on my image is that I want to be tougher physically. So I don't need a gun to kick those people's asses. You just gotta you know? so I'm going to start working on Bob a little bit more and start really working on the martial arts training a little bit more. Uh, and, and just it just get a little bit tougher. I want to be tougher. I think it would really help on looking tougher if you actually held the gun while streaming. I do it all the time. Yeah, but like just when sitting there, you know, and just hold the gun and say, look, I got stronger. You know, I'm physically stronger. And I think a lot more people. Except curls with yeah. my AR-15. With the, with the guns, exactly. I think that's yeah. the best way to do it. Maybe squats while holding guns. I don't know, balancing guns on your ass. See, my um, ass is already, you can all say it routine. Already, like, my ass already there, you know. I think I'm going to start working on my boobs a little bit. Can you make your boobs bigger just like that? I've looked and nobody says that. Hmm. I've been doing some boob workouts. I got a question for you guys. What would you guys do if uh, you were forced that you have to do this? You have to cheat on your significant other. But what would you do to to get this done without getting caught? So pretend you have a significant other. Without getting caught? Yeah, you have to not get caught. So what would you do? Use burner phones, first of all. Uh, Definitely have a really good alibi. So you need to get a good friend on board so that you can make sure that, um, you know, she can always say, yeah, she was with me, you know. Uh, Definitely do that. Um, Definitely take measures to hide your privacy. Make sure that you aren't doing some dumb shit like having your Snapchat app turned on so that people can see where you are. I mean, really just got to take the prep steps to make sure that, I mean, I'm a private investigator. That's what I do for a living is follow people around and, and catch them cheating on their spouses. So. I think that I would be probably the expert at this. I would say uh, yeah, definitely I have an alibi um, and don't let them get suspicious. Once they, once they get suspicious, it's over. I would say actually the opposite. I think you should leave too many trails so that there's no actual connection. If you flirt with all of your friends, all of his friends or their friends or whatever, if you flirt with everyone, if you flirt with people on the internet, if you say that you would fuck them at any point, if you just have all of your text conversations being really flirty, that's just the norm. They won't actually know which of them you're fucking. You could be fucking any of them. You could be fucking none of them. And if it's just- or all of say, them. All of them, exactly. And when they ask about it, when they look at your text messages, there's no way to actually, if they try and catch you on it, then you guilt them. You say, no, that's just how I talk to my friends. You always put it back on them. And that way you'll never guys. be caught. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just love go. everyone. Right. Be really, really nice to everyone. Be friendly. Lives, yeah. That's how you talk to your friends. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. And then every time that he says, where are you going? You go to fuck your best friend. Exactly. And, it's and a joke. Really you're joking. And you're it's not even true. joking. You're actually telling the truth. It's like hiding in plain sight. Exactly. And it also gives your partner peace of mind too, because they'll just think, huh, it's a joke. It's fine. When your friend, when their friends come to them and they say, Hey, I saw your girlfriend actually fucking a dude. He says, no, that was a joke. It's fine. Pog almighty. It ended with that. <laughs> Holy moly! Okay, well that that is the end of the final round. So no more questions, no more answers. The final boss will come in with their final question. So let's find out who your final boss is for this amazing women's WMO showdown. Warning: You are entering a restricted area. Return to where you came from, or be destroyed. Repeat. Return to your designated zone, or be destroyed. Message ends.
right, there it is. Your final boss for this epic showdown is the one, the only, the, you guessed it, your final boss for today is going final to boss be version right of <laughs> yes! right now. Yes, right now. Oh, hold on, guys. Right now, you are my final boss for this epic showdown, and I feel like I cut wet shrimp at the worst possible time. <laughs> he has his head oh, up. Bad. Yes, he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ass man. Is funny, dude. oh boy okay nice what a what a way but anyway uh so the final boss comes in and drops the final question and what this is is it gives my final two competitors a chance to give their final answer so here we go fried out good to have you back on good buddy what final boss question do you have for bx bullet and peach spit all right so bx bullet peach if you could date one of the two judges, who would it be, and why wouldn't it be the other one? <laughs> oh Honestly, Jackie Jones lives in a fucking sick ass place in Japan. So, but you know, like wet shrimp, dude, you gotta change your shirt, man. Like, honestly, I would, I would change my vote to you if you just bought a new tank top. I'll buy it for you. I'll sub to your channel so you can buy one. I mean, the that question was date, right? So, I am actually technically married to wet shrimp, I believe. Um, I haven't quite gotten the certificate back, but I am Mrs. Wet Shrimp. So in that case, I will just take oh, the best of both your, worlds and date Japan and Jack. Well, unfortunately, I chose the wrong one for the green card. Um, I don't really want to move to L.A. or get an L.A. green card, if that would be a thing. Um, I would much rather move to Japan. So if you guys want to switch places, I can be married to Japan D and just date Wet Shrimp. Japandi, how many cool frequent flyer miles do you have? And can you keep me going back there every other weekend when I don't have my daughter? Uh, I mean, actually, trips are super cheap right now, so it's perfect Wait, time. Wait, let's do it. The, and, actually, and, the and education system in Japan is really good. Yeah, tourism. Just what take about your coronavirus? So you're coronavirus saying, over there? You just want hoes in different area codes. What, what shrimp in uh, the U.S. and me in Japan? That yeah. no big well, deal. that way I can just keep... Uh, I almost fine. can just be like a dual citizenship type of deal, which is actually ideal. I can spend any amount of time mm. with either of you. Whenever you get sick of me, just shit me off. Well, I guess that was one way to answer that question. <laughs> oh my god. This has been so I'm gonna fucking move in. fun. This has been so fucking fun. Okay. So, uh, Inu, please move Japani Jones to Witch Rip Wait, are, to a are we, separate... Are we doing this? Are all Asians, like, wearing tank tops right now? Is that, oh yeah, my god. Kinda... Dude, Freda was doing? the final boss Wet Shrimp. Uh, it, I, yeah, actually, the right tank top. <laughs> Damn, you got hot in here real quick. Oh, this, is not, this is not. This is not going to help my case. I do not script these Jesus, things man. at all. This is not Girl, scripted. Girls looking over here looking like double wild surprise. <laughs> all right, so wow. so we don't get too far off topic. Edu, please move to Patty Joe. You did okay. Good. <laughs> God, Paul, good morning. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Friday. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. But, okay, so right now, Japani Jones and Wet Shrimp are in a separate room, and they're deciding on who should win this entire thing. So who do you guys think did well? Who is entertaining? Will it be BX Bullet, or will it be Peach Spit? It's all about personality, baby. It's all about how you interact with the judges, how entertaining you are, how you stand out, and how you can get the chat room to move. All these ladies did amazing. I feel like all of them hit the nail on the head with every single thing. Silax says I vote for BX Bullet. <coughs> okay. Smoked out just as capping Al for whatever reason. I have no idea. Uh, Cuckoldberry Finn says I vote for the new chick because she has an interesting voice. Right, that's a man. <laughs> what the fuck? You're ridiculous. Okay. J Dog is giving me an emote that I've never seen before. Bom oh, here we go. Bomb Diggity Wave. I don't know what that is. Okay, Arcacia is throwing me a peach, so apparently... Okay, he's voting for peach. I literally thought that was something else. <laughs> I need to get better with my emotes, guys. I apologize. Uh, Al says, Saga yeah, Gather, you didn't do amazing. Go choke on oatmeal. Al, thank you. I don't know how to respond to that. You're ridiculous. Uh, Al is my boy, wide heart. Okay, let's not embrace Al's weird champness. This is all about the ladies today, baby. It's all about BX Bullet and BH Spit. And again, all these ladies did amazing. Angelique came in here and just dropped, mic dropped, left and right, Paul Almighty. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Storm Shadow says, Peach for the win. 
with that big dumper, <laughs> emphasizing the two M's, emphasizing the two M's, <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, Silex, I'll gather you don't I need to get better with emotes. You are just looking so good. Bingo, clean shaven and stuff. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Clean shaven, baby. I guarantee you, everyone in this chat room would... If you met me, you'd say, Saga, can I just... Can I just rub your chin? And you know what I'd say? Wash your hands first. <laughs> and then wash your hands after. Just say it. But my, but this is so, this is so nice. I can't have a goatee anymore. It's ridiculous. But let's go back. This is so bad. Oh man, Pongo Mighty, this is fun. Creep Gather Lexicon. You are ridiculous. Okay, scrolling up here. Way better than my. Okay, thank you, Goolsby. I'm not reading that. You're, you're my fucking mod, Goolsby. What the hell's the matter with you? Uh, real sketchy. What's this about oatmeal again? I don't know. Apparently, I wants me to choke on. Mushy oatmeal. I don't. I don't know. All right, and right now, Japani Jones and uh, Japani, or yeah, Japani Jones and Witch Shrimp are in a separate judge room deciding on who should win this thing. If they can't decide on who should win, it will go to the boomers. Let's figure out if our boomers are awake. Hold on. Let's see if they're awake. Hold on. Let's, let's figure this out. Let me see if they're awake. Hold on. Let's move them into a separate room. I forgot which room I was in. <laughs> what the? So, I am so dumb. There it is. All right. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Hold on really quick. Let me see if I can. Uh... All right. Here we go. Okay. Are my. Okay. Uh, boomers, are you there? Canical Bar and then and, uh, and, and Dope Builds Gaming. What are you doing? Yeah, hello. Okay. No, no, they're not. Okay. <clears throat> Dope Builds Gaming is clearly asleep. For no reason whatsoever. Chaotic, I know I can trust you. Chaotic, are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm here, buddy. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I, I can, I can, do, do not type resident sleeper in the chat room. That makes no sense. Calm down. But anyway, I just want to check on my boomers right now. I love you guys. I always like to check on you because clearly, you know, if, if these guys can't decide who should win, I just want to make sure you guys are awake. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much it. I'm kidding. I love you guys, and hopefully these guys can choose a winner. But Paul Gomaiti, you guys are badass, and I will always call you guys out because I fucking love you. Let's head back up there. All right, they're awake. <laughs> that was the whole thing. I just wanted to be sure they were awake. I was, uh... <laughs> we're the only show that does this shit. I swear to God. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hold on. All right, I got a DM. There we go. Uh, wow, these guys. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, they DM me. These guys are ridiculous. Hold on. Yeah. All right, and we're back. We're wait, back. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it, on. Wait, wait. I'm back. Sideways? Hold on. Paul go mighty. Paul yeah. go mighty. Yeah. Paul go mighty. Wait. Hold on. Real quick. Oh, right no. Guys, wait, guys, wait. guys. Hello. I'm the annoying guy in the background. Hold on. Okay. Huh? So, <laughs> I don't know. Everything did. But clearly, nothing. Because Your guess mama what? happened. My, right now, hold on, real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, I got, I got something to tell you. Hold on. And he's super muted. <laughs> I love right now. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. He actually is super muted. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, my judges clearly. Okay. They want another round. Huh? Paul oh, Almighty. Are you guys ridiculous? You guys want another round? All right, hold on, wait, wait. Yeah, I know, I've never done this, so this is badass, so... All right, Japandi, do you want another round? I mean, if that's what the people... I mean, that's a tough one again, wasn't it, Wet Shrimp? Yeah, it's pretty tough. I'm just it trying is. to figure out what people yeah. want. All right, so... I'm trying to collect more overtime money. <laughs> what? I haven't able... Yeah. All right, we're going to Peach Pit, so Peach Pit... Do you want one more round? It'll go sudden death in five minutes. I mean, I thought you said the last time was the last sudden yeah, death. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm loving this this shit. I'm loving it. Um, come back to me. I right, okay. literally said the show would take an hour, and I yeah, said okay. Right. No, she she's right. Okay, so here we go. Then. 
No, I don't need DMs of 24 hour WMO. Calm down. I don't need that either. Okay, okay, so okay, okay. we're calling it. We're calling it. We, we had we had a sudden death. So we're we're gonna stay true to our format. Only one sudden death, and that's it. And Dope Builds Gaming, one of my boomer judges, clearly just woke up and forgot who was actually competing tonight. <laughs> he says the erotic player clearly won. What the hell is the matter with you? <laughs> Never leave it in the hands of the boomers. All right. So I need my on screen judges to DM me their vote one more time, or else it's going to yeah. go to that man who clearly woke up. <laughs> what the fuck is the matter with you, Dope Builds Gaming? You're so bad. <laughs> All right. going to go to him. <clears throat> All right, so I mean, yeah, so close. There we go. It was oh, there. It is okay. We got everything. So guys, this has been fucking amazing, and you guys are absolutely amazing streamers. You guys are amazing at this competition, and I know for a fact that like you know you guys have joined up with so many podcasts. This is why you guys are naturally so good at conversation and being entertaining. So I think anyone who would watch you guys on any podcast, either on your channel or somebody else's, enjoys it thoroughly. This is the truth. I enjoyed watching this entire thing. Thank you so much. Be All fun. right. No Thank problem. you, Papa. Absolute truth. All right. Barely, 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 barely. Here we go. Everyone did fucking amazing. Here is your winner for tonight and headed to the championship knockout stage to meet Maria 2000. Let's go to the bracket really quick to see what's going on here. Maria so, 2000 made yeah, it? She, she made it through. Oh, boy. <laughs> you, believe it or not, you never know. You can never guess these things whatsoever. But that's the bracket right there. So showing you right now. Maria 2000 etched out the win last week in the July qualifiers. Right now we're on July 17th, which is this qualifier right here. And again, everyone's trying to get to the finals, which is September 25th. And whoever wins September 25th will be competing for the championship belt in October for $1,000 and the belt. And the belt will be mailed to them. The belt's actually being mailed to Cat Like Meow, and she'll have it. And she'll have that one forever. But whoever wins in October will, will receive their belt. And that is on to them, and they'll win $1,000. It is one match for $1,000 to find out who is the one. All right, we're going to go back to the main overlay again. Bingo. All right, your winner for tonight. Everyone did amazing. Congratulations. Your winner is Peach Spit. Congratulations, Peach Spit. Honestly, if you did it win, I was going to fucking riot because this girl came out swinging, dude. Now that, now everyone did amazing. I agree with you. You know, you guys both did really well. It was really hard to pick. It was really good. Yeah, I think really everyone good. would agree to that. Absolutely. I was fucking wanted... with you at the end there, Saga. You weren't actually yeah. supposed to ask. If Are wanted. you serious? Why? You can't yeah, do dude. this to me. <laughs> I'm trying to put out impressions here. Oh, my God. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Wow, man. You guys. I love you guys. So you guys are all badass. But let's start Let's start doing some outros, and then I'll unmute for right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to listen to them talk for 24 hours. Okay, I'm muting Fry now. Clearly, he's having a panic attack. I don't fucking know. What it's like. All right, but anyway, we're going to go to Japan and Joe's. Japan and Joe's again. Thank you so much for being my judge tonight. And or, or yeah. actually, this morning for you because it's like, a, what, noon right now? Just at noon? Don't remind me. It's fine. Oh, promise. Yeah, it's but fine. Japan and Joe's, yeah. thank you again. Give me that Paul Gum idea yeah. outro, good buddy. Ready? I'm going to get told, and shout out to the tr current champs, scumbag. And cat like meow, uh, Peach Spit, you're a goddamn weird champ. BX Bullet, amazing as well. Uh, I like the contention. And, uh, you know, your morals were both a little different. That was interesting to see as well. Good dynamic, you two. Uh, the ethics, very different, yeah. Uh, very fun. Glad uh, I got up for this. And uh, maybe uh, Wet Shrimp and I could do a sleeping stream or something. What do you think? Yeah? I'm down uh, for that. Y'all going to spin? Yeah, we might have gonna... to do that. If he can send me over to Japan, I'll spoon him. Oh my god! I'll, I'll oh scissor god. him. I'll fork him. Whatever. Okay, anyways, you want. anyways, uh, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna fuck around and stream in Japan soon. Probably drunk and talk to people as usual. Woo! Those Thanks Irish shrimps me. are badass. Absolutely, Japanian. Thank you again. It went shrimp, Thanks. dude. You are not great. shadow bad anymore. Welcome yeah. back to the promised land, baby. Let's go. Wet Rip, thank you again for judging tonight, man. Give me that Paul Gumby outro. And I'm not forgetting that boomer question you gave them. That was actually awesome. Oh, awesome. right. Awesome. Yeah, I forgot about that question. Me too. Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for having me on. It was a lot of fun. You had three really strong contestants. It was actually really hard. And I, I would have loved listening to, literally would have loved listening to them talk for a good 24 hours. And I, I agree yeah. that Peach had some weird champ answers, very creative. Um, and 
Bullet, I think, can talk very well and can hold a conversation very well. That's what made it so tough. But yeah, Saga, I want I want you to remember this show because this is the first time you have three Asians on, which is more than everyone else. So Woo, this is a special time. Very special. What a trailblazer you are. Yeah. Yes, I. There we go. Okay, Maddox, you're not. How to my G? Oh man, thank you. Whatever, man. But again, yeah. what's your three thanks. G's? <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Saga. It was a lot of fun. It was great. I loved it. And again, you know, Manic, dude, give me that Pogo My Day outro. You're the funniest outro I've known to me. <laughs> oh, man. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Manic underscore studios TX. Not going to do the music because I fucking lost the files. But I do a lot of art, so feel free to check me out. I like how somebody just asked that, that was Slasher on the bottom. That's for right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but speaking of which, for right now, thank you again for my final boss today, dude. Uh, you know, give me that Paul Mighty outro. Good buddy. Thank you again. All right. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash frynaut and uh, twitter.com slash I'm I, I What do I even do nowadays? Oh yeah, um, fucking, I do commissions for vo my voiceover. So if you need me to do anything, the voice, that's 25 cents per word. Yes, please, please commission him, he's actually really funny and badass, but he actually does amazing voiceovers. He actually was a part of a video game last year, and uh, really badass. And if you want to shout that out too, that was actually a pretty good video game. Thank you. And Saga, we're going to have to talk about this weird setup that you have right now with Asians being the cast. Um, I don't know if this is a fetish of yours or something, but hey, I'm, I'm not I'm not judging you. Yeah. Check your I... temperature. You might have a fever there, Saga. OK, let's move forward. <laughs> what's what's oh that boy. thing that they call it? What's that they, <laughs> thing that they call it? The, uh, the Asian line. sensation? Okay, he's muted. <laughs> I can't trust him. I can never trust him. All right, but let's go to my uh, my boomers. Uh, uh, chaotic old board, Dope Builds Gaming, guys. Love you all. Uh, I know that uh, Chaotic was awake throughout the entire thing. Dope Builds just woke up. Uh, but <laughs> appreciate you guys hanging out in the Discord. Uh, but, hey, guys, give me that Paul Goodbody outro. Chaotic old board doing a musical podcast uh, tomorrow, 6 p.m. DST, come along, have a look. Um, great content. Um, I probably would have been flipping a coin to choose a winner or even to split the other t other went at the start today. Great content. Um, Saga, get fucked because Doc's not here. There we go. <laughs> uh, dope, are you awake? Hi. Good morning. 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 Fucking do do dope Builds Gaming forward slash uh, go uh, Twitch TV forward slash Dope Builds Gaming. I, wa I want to correct what shrimp. And he said three Asians. There's actually four of us here. I am part Asian. I'm Indian. I'm, but not like, not like oh, Indian, like like Indian Indian from Asia. So part of me, a very small part, but the blood's there. So I just want to, I want to get that straight. Um, I want to give a very special thank you and shout out to the winner, uh, 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 Neurotic. I'm sorry we had to call it uh, for Peach Spit, but I was forced. Uh, Peach Spit. Congratulations, all joking aside, you and BX put on an amazing, amazing show tonight. You both should be very proud. Thank you very much to everybody who's watching. You guys make this possible. Saga, you rock, you roll. Peace out. I, I, I love my off-screen judges, but, like, this is why you can't give it to them. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank you for Dope Builds Gaming. Uh, all right, what? Inu, Inu Official. Dude, thank you for being my clock today. But honestly, Inu helps out with a lot in the background. Inu, dude, you actually make emotes as well, along with Mandy Kevs are both badass. Inu, please give me your Pogo Mighty Outro. Yeah, uh, so today's show was actually really fun. I was also a part of the uh, extension to the show. It was very fun to watch. Um, I am a art streamer. Uh, you can follow me at Inu underscore official. I'm also a recruiter for Saga, as well as uh, kind of like a helper in the backstage Discord. So I'm kind of all over Twitch. So if you ever have any questions, uh, feel free to join Saga's Discord if you ever want to be a part of his shows. And uh, yeah, have a good night. That was awesome. Thank you again. All right. It came down to the final two, and these ladies dominated. Like, it, this could have easily been like a finale show for me. Like, it was so 
so good. Like everyone was engaged with it. Everyone had fun with it. And the conversation went in so many different directions amongst those three that me and the judges kind of sat back and enjoyed it for what it was. So everyone was a badass. So I'm going to go to BX Blood. BX Blood, I appreciate you. And a lot of people don't know that, like, you know, you, you were you were sick coming on, you know, like, uh, so, yeah, and like you, trap. you rocked it, though. Like, you literally <laughs> kicked so much ass, like, but BX, I just want to say thank you, and please give me your Pogo Mighty outro. Thank you, Saga, for having me on. I had a really good time. Honestly, Peach Spit's, like, one of my fucking favorite. I love her to death. She's so fucking cute. I just want to simp on her all day long. And, um... Yeah, so she came out swinging, dude. She's she's definitely um, – she's been on my show before, too. She's, like, great content. So, yeah, definitely had a really good time. And now I, I had to take my boomer. I am I am actually a Twitch boomer, so I do have to go to bed soon. <laughs> it's 1040. Yeah, I have to wake up at 530, That's fucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I mean, good yeah, now. Fucker. sleep well, BX Blood. Thank you again, and – all right, again, we're going to the winner for tonight, Peach Bit. Again, thank you so much. Give me your Pogo Mighty outro. Oh, my God. Yeah, tonight was so much fun. Um, absolutely a shout-out to BX Bullet in Miss Angelique. I literally came in here before and telling my roommate that I was just going to lose because these are two super hot women with great personalities, and I was like, there's no fucking chance. Um, so, really, I they absolutely deserve it, too. Um, but... Yeah, I'm so excited for the next time. And thank you to Japan D and Wet Shrimp and Fry Not and everyone else. But yeah, I'm at twitch.tv slash peach underscore spit. No, you're not. Oh, you are. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot about him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fry Now, you're unmuted now. Hello. You're a fucker. That's what you are. Well, with that being said, guys, have a good night. <laughs> thank you again. Uh, so, Peach Spit, we'll see you in September for the championship knockout stage. Again, appreciate you all. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. There we go. All right. And again, you know, there it is. The brackets. July qualifiers. Maria 2000 made it through. And now, July 17th, this qualifier belongs to Peach Spit. So let's go to the elimination bracket again, too. Again, it was Peach Spit versus Miss Angelique versus BX Bullet. And if hopefully I can find out where it's at, there it is. Came down to the final two. And there you go. Your winner for tonight, Peach Spit. Again, guys, I appreciate you all. Hopefully you guys have a lovely night. And I hope you guys enjoyed the WMO. We'll see you again next week for the round three July qualifiers. Appreciate you all. Love you all. Have a good night. Stay safe out there.